Hey guys, I'm Brett. In this video, we're gonna learn how to update the firmware on our Weeble S, the image transmitter, the image receiver, and the remote controller. After that, we'll learn how to calibrate our Weeble S. Special thanks to Xeon for sponsoring this video. Keeping the firmware up to date on all of your devices and calibrating your gimbal is the best way to ensure you have the smoothest and best experience possible with any of Xeon's products. Let's dive into upgrading the firmware. But before we do, be sure that all of your devices, including your phone, are charged to at least 50% battery to prevent any issues. Also, if you haven't already, head over to your app store and download the ZY Play app. With that out of the way, let's get started with the Weeble S. Power on your gimbal and then open the ZY Play app. From here, navigate to the Pro Cameras page and select Weeble S. Tap Connect Now and then Connect. Click the X to close this tab. And just like that, we can see a firmware upgrade. Simply tap this button and follow the prompts. From here, the firmware will download to your phone. Then it will transfer to your device. After the firmware transfers, the upgrade screen will pop up and the update will begin. Once the update is done, the Weeble S will power down. Simply power back on and we can head to the about page to see that we're on the latest firmware. Quick tip, if you seem to be having issues with the firmware process, try heading into your phone settings, scroll down to the ZY Play app, and turn off the cellular data option. Then try the upgrade again and see if it fixes the issue. That was pretty easy, right? Now, if you want or need to, you can also upgrade the firmware via a computer. On your computer, head over to zeuntech.com and scroll down. Click the Weeble S image. On this product page, scroll down just a little bit and click the download tab. Here we can see a few options. If you're running Windows, download and install the USB drivers. For both Mac and PC, you'll need to download and install the Calibration Upgrade tool. After that, download the firmware here and save it somewhere easy, like your desktop. After we have all that, power on your Weeble S and connect it to your computer using the USB-C port on the side right here. Open the upgrade software called Xeon Gimbal Tools. Click the Open button to connect the gimbal. Then click on the Firmware Upgrade tab. Here, we'll click the Browse button. It will ask us to locate the firmware that we just downloaded. Once you select the firmware file, click the Upgrade button on the bottom. From here, it will enter Upgrade mode and power down when it's done. Great, now we know how to update the firmware to keep our Weeble S running smoothly. Now let's take a look at updating the image transmitter and the receiver. Make sure you've already done the initial pairing of the transmitter to the receiver. If you wanna know how to do this, just check out our other tutorial videos. While connected to a cellular network on your phone, power on the transmitter and wait for the green light to shine solid, which means Wi-Fi is active and ready. If you're upgrading your receiver, power that on now and wait for it to connect to the transmitter. Otherwise, leave the receiver powered off and just upgrade the transmitter. Go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect it directly to your transmitter's Wi-Fi. If prompted for a password, just type 12345678. Go to the ZY Play app and swipe until you see the transmitter listed. At the top, you should see a prompt to update the firmware. Simply follow the prompts to upgrade. While upgrading, do not navigate away from this page or lock your phone. Keep this screen open and active until the update is complete. When it's done, the transmitter or receiver will power down. Power it back up and you're ready to go. Now, some phones may not be able to update firmware using this method. So if this method doesn't work for you, there's another method of updating. 
Let's try this other method. Power on the transmitter. If you're upgrading the receiver, power that on too. Otherwise, leave it off. Next, head into your phone's Wi-Fi settings. Connect to the transmitter's Wi-Fi and enter the password 12345678. While connected to the transmitter, head over to the ZY Play app and go to the transmitter page. With this page open, head directly back to your phone's Wi-Fi settings and connect to a Wi-Fi network. Then, go back into the ZY Play app once more, and you should now see a firmware update message appear. Tap to upgrade. Awesome! Now that we've updated the transmitter and receiver, let's update the transmount motion controller. We'll need a computer to do this. Power on the remote controller and connect it to your computer via this micro USB port. On the remote, head into the menu and scroll down to the upgrade option. We'll need to activate this option for the upgrade to work. After that, go to zeuntech.com, select the download tab, and select the firmware from the dropdown. If you haven't already, download and install the calibration upgrade tool. If you don't see the remote on this page, scroll down and click more. From this first dropdown, select the transmount motion sensor remote controller. On the next dropdown, download and install the USB driver if you haven't. Otherwise, select the firmware option. Then click Find. When the firmware pops up, download and save it in an easy to find location like your desktop. Open the upgrade software called Zeune Gimbal Tools. Click the Open button to connect to the remote. Then select the Firmware Upgrade tab. Click Browse and locate the firmware file that you just downloaded. Then click Upgrade. After it's done, the remote will power down and you're ready to go. Cool, so everything is up to date. Now let's calibrate our Weeble S. Calibrating Weeble S can help to correct small deviations in the level position of your gimbal. <laughs> in other words, if things aren't level, calibrating might help. Now there are a few methods for correcting these issues. The first and easiest method is called the initialization method. This is done if you find that the roll or tilt isn't always level, or if you find that your gimbal is constantly trying to correct itself. It's pretty easy to do, so let's try that one first. Without a camera or any accessories attached and all of the latches unlocked, hold the camera mounting arm down and power on the gimbal. Then, long press the POV button to enter standby mode until the motor's powered down. Now, lay the gimbal down on its side on a flat surface and wait for about 30 seconds. The gimbal will automatically complete the initialization. From here, you can get back to shooting and test things out. Now, if you still have these deviations, you can try calibrating. You should also calibrate your gimbal if it hasn't been used in a long time, or if there's a big temperature difference, like from the last time you were traveling from maybe a warm climate to a cold one and vice versa. Calibrating is a relatively straightforward process that requires we place our gimbal into several different positions. You can access the calibration mode from the gimbal itself by connecting it through your computer or through the ZY Play app. The Play app is the best choice as it gives you a visual reference for each step in the process. Let's start by powering on the gimbal and getting connected to the app. Once inside, tap this icon here and then tap Six Side Calibration. From here, we'll follow the on-screen prompts. After completing each step, the app will automatically move to the next step. With the arms unlocked, Start by laying the gimbal on the tilt motor. Keep a light grip to hold the gimbal in this position. Next, rotate the pan axis 180 degrees and lay it with the tilt motor now facing up. Next, position the gimbal so the roll motor is facing up. We're gonna leave the roll motor in this position for the remaining steps and just rotate the tilt arm. So, 
Swing the tilt arm until the front of the mounting plate is facing up. Then, rotate the tilt arm so the front of the mounting plate is facing down. Next, rotate the tilt arm so the mounting plate is laying flat. Lastly, rotate the tilt arm so the bottom side of the mounting plate is facing up. After that, you'll get a confirmation that calibration is complete. Calibrating every now and then can help with possible issues and keeping your devices up to date on firmware is crucial for having the best experience possible. Thumbs up if you guys found this video helpful at all and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, I'll see ya. <laughs>